Hi everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Just want to make sure my sound's working. So you guys, my microphone is not working, so no microphone tonight. I'm hoping everything will come through okay. I can see you guys hopping on. Welcome to my weekly tea time and a card. For those of you watching this later on YouTube, make sure you come find me on Facebook under um, Stamp and Ink Designs Group. I guess it's not on here. Yes, right here, Stamp and Ink Designs Facebook group. Make sure you find us. We have some uh, challenges that we do every month, some creative challenges. And speaking of that, for those of you guys that joined in on the sampler square swap, I have mine all done. I'm going to show it to you after the video tonight because um, I know there was some new people that joined in this time. So I'll explain how I glued mine together. Uh, just as a refresher for everyone. Now, just a few announcements. Our mini catalog went live today. This is the one that has a lot of Christmas, uh, fall, a lot of beautiful things. So now I can actually show you guys what's inside when I need to. So this went live today. You can start ordering. There are some products that are out of stock already because demonstrators get to order a month before customers. And I noticed today when I checked, a lot of the products that are not available will be in um, the week of September 11th. So you only have about a week to wait on that. And then this is my free card kit for the month of September. I always do a free card kit. And what I do, I can't send anything with stamping on it, but I send all of the layers. And you guys that order will get a kit and you can assemble your card and just use whatever you have on hand for the stamping part. That's why you'll notice my card kits don't have a lot of stamping because we're not allowed to sell or give out kits with stamping. So this is my kit for September. We had a special release today. I don't know if you noticed through the online exclusives. Let me explain what this is. There's five packages of designer paper that were added to the online exclusives only. You won't see these in catalogs. Now, where do these come from? There's a reason for this. A few uh, years in a row, we did two celebrations per year. Well, last year, we Stamping Up decided just to do one celebration, and they had already ordered all of and produced all of this designer paper that was gonna be for the second release. So now, to use it up, we have five packages. I'll just name them to you. Uh, Shining Christmas, Delightful Floral, Traditions of St. Nick, Tartan Foil, and Silver and Gold Adhesive Back Glimmer Paper. And these, there's only a certain amount of each package so if you're interested in any of these go check out the online exclusives and they're limited so they're gonna sell out so if you want to go take a peek make sure you go do that and then we have world card making day coming up anybody can join in on this and for those of you on Facebook I'm going to paste this as a post you'll see because there, there's three stamp sets they're going to use which you don't need to buy you can use your own but something close. This will be on October 7th and there's a registration link for you to register. And then I have all the measurements of all three projects that you will need for uh, the World Card Making Day. So I'll put this right on our Facebook page so you guys will know what to prepare ahead of time. I think that's it for announcements. So tonight I'm using the Charming Sentiments. I'm just using the, where is it? Right here, hey there. Just kind of a generic sentiment. I'm gonna show you all the products first. I have my water painters. I'm using the smallest brush. If you've never seen these, there's a wide brush. Let's see if I can get this back in. And then you have the two thicknesses. I'm using the smallest one. I like to mention this only because we don't use these often. And what's really strange about these, they twist the wrong way. They're backwards. So when you take this off, if you need to fill this up, you actually have to turn towards the left to fill it up. And that's where your water would go in. And then you turn to the right to screw it back in. 
Now one tip if you find that when you're using these, if you have them, you have to squeeze really, really hard to get the water out. You need to unscrew this just a tiny bit to let some air in and you'll see that the water will come out easier. Now tonight, because I'm actually painting with water and I, I don't wanna have to squeeze a lot, I actually have one of our embellishment containers and I added water to it. I'm gonna dip instead. I have the In Color Baker's Twine Pack, Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels, I'm using Copper Clay Ink, wait is that the right one? Yes it is. And I'm also using the Deckled Circles, you guys have seen me use these quite a bit, I love these, there's 14 in a set, I measured it for you last week. Um, I'll measure it again. The largest one is almost six inches. It's five and three quarter inches. Now what I did is I used the thick white cardstock and I glued two layers together and then I used the smallest one, two, three, and four to make myself a stencil. That's what I'm using for today's um, technique that I'm going to show you. And let me bring in the cardstock. So uh, copper clay, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that. And then I have berry burst, uh, five and a quarter by four. Our fluid 100 watercolor paper. That's four and three quarter by three and a half. And then just a little snippet of Coastal Cabana. That is two and a half by three quarters of an inch. And let me show you the card. Now this, the idea for this card was actually from one of our demonstrators. It was a technique that she showed and I really liked it. And it's really simple. That's where the stencil's gonna come in. Look at the circles that I use for a stencil. I'll bring them close. You can see that the, the color has spread. And you do that with the water painter. And I'm also using markers for this. Uh, berry Burst, Copper Clay, Coastal Cabana, and Granny Apple Green. Now I'm using different colors just to so show you the difference. So on this one I used uh, Pecan Pie, Granny Apple, the Berry Burst, and the Coastal Cabana. So that's my technique. Now the twine, I'm going to go in here and get this one instead because I don't have any red on my card. I'm going to use this color and let me bring in just my note paper. Hold on, where's my pad? All right, I just had it, you guys. Hold on. I'm looking. Oh, here it is. It was under my sampler that I'm going to show you later. I'm just going to add this underneath just so I don't make a mess. Okay, I'm going to start out with the watercolor paper and then I'm going to bring my homemade stencil. I'm going to have this ready to go because you kind of have to go quickly because the marker can dry. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to do this a couple times just tracing like three or four times. The more ink the better. And then I'm just going to take, oh, wait a minute. I need to leave this in here. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to dip in my water. And as I keep going, it's going to spread even more. So I'm just wetting that. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to keep spreading. I'm just going to add another color. This one is Granny Apple. Whoops, I got the wrong end. So again, I'm going to trace about three or four times just to keep adding ink. Bring in my water. And you're also going to see as I do this that where the colors meet, it's going to kind of blend them together. You can see where it's starting to spread. Let's try Berry Burst. See right here where they meet, you can see the different colors it creates. Let's try this one. Okay, berry burst this time. And again with my water painter. 
And don't worry about your stencil. It's just cardstock. I'm getting it all over the edges, but it's fine. You can see that the color's starting to spread already. Okay, now let's do the copper clay. I'm gonna use the little circle this time. So you could come up with all kinds of different color combinations. This one's gonna spread well too. Now let's turn this this way. I'm gonna use um, that pecan pie again, or copper clay. I just like to go over it three or four times. It just adds more color that will spread easier. So just keep swooshing that around. Let's see, we just need to add probably one more. I'm going to do the berry burst again. So for those of you that like to get together with your friends to stamp, this would be a great technique to show them. And you don't have to use the same dies. You can use different shapes if you want. Okay, so you can see how nicely that's starting to spread. I'm gonna put, let me put my marker caps back on. And I think I talked to you guys about our markers. They did uh, change our markers. These are all new. You can see that the tips are a lot thicker and the tips color really really well the other the older uh, ones that we had tend to dry on the ends these are really juicy I love the tips on these okay let me move my water now I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit and get this glued in place so we're gonna do the berry burst You could even use, like if you have a flower punch or a flower die to do your shapes. Seriously, you can do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and use the copper clay for my sentiment. And you can see how quickly I did that. Okay, now let me just see. Okay, look how that's spreading. Okay, I did wrap the twine around the watercolor paper before I glued it in place. So I'm going to wrap that around twice. Create a bow on the right. So you guys, we have a lot of brand new Christmas sets. I know some of you guys like to get your Christmas cards done early. Let me just make this a little smaller. And I'm going to trim that twine with my paper snips. Now I'm going to use dimensionals. This paper did not get super, super wet, so it didn't warp on me. Usually I use the foam adhesive sheets on watercolor paper because I just used a water painter. There's no warping. So we're okay with just using dimensionals on this one. So I'm going to glue this to the front. So you can see that this was a quick technique. And you could add more circles if you wanted to. Okay, now let me just bring this down, make it straight. Now because I have twine in the center where my sentiment's going to go, I'm actually going to use the mini dimensionals. I'm going to put them on the watercolor paper on each side of my twine. That way you won't have that bulkiness. So now I can go ahead and remove the backing because the twine is actually almost the same height as the dimensionals. And then I'm gonna slide this in, press that in place, tighten my bow, and lastly, I'm gonna add my little embellishments. They kind of remind me of bubbles when I'm adding the embellishments right to the circles. Let's see, wait a minute. I'm gonna put a big one here because that's kinda, 
kind of looks weird. Whoops. And there's my big one. There you go. There's my technique. How quick was that? I'm going to show you this close up again. This one's nice and dry. You can see how the color spread it. It's just going to keep going as it dries. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try and make sure you add pictures to our Facebook group so everybody can see what you did. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy shopping in the new catalog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. I forgot to show you the sampler. So I'm back. Hopefully you're still around. I'm just going to give it a little bit for everybody to find me. I totally forgot to show you the sampler. So I exited a little too fast from my video. So these were the two cards I just made. So I'm going to put these away. And I'm going to bring the sampler out. The summer sampler that everyone, a lot of you guys participated in. I want to explain a few things before I show you. You know how I've showed videos on this. This helps for placement. Let me see if I can get it all on the screen. This helps for placement on your sampler squares. So what I do is I cut designer paper cardboard in little strips. They're 12 inches long. The one I used for uh, the summer sampler is the one inch. I also have some that I've used in the past that are one and a quarter inches. So it's up to you. Because our squares were three and a quarter inches large, I found it best to use the one inch. So let me bring in my sampler. I'm hoping I can get it all in here. Let me just wait. Yes, there it is. So these are the squares. Let me see if I can bring my camera up just a little bit more. Okay, that's better. So these were all of my squares from group A. Um, and I'm going to explain to you how I did mine. For those of you that haven't done yours yet, or if you haven't ever done this. So I actually added a layer of cardstock, a layer of designer paper, and then my squares are all glued with dimensionals. My cardstock is Knight of Navy, and that's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. The designer paper is 11 by 11, and then the squares on top of that. So that's where my one inch frame came in. I put this on, I added tape to hold it in place, and that allowed me to put these in here evenly. Now, how did I decide where my squares should go? If you'll notice, I have three sailboats, one, two, and three. I didn't want them to be beside each other. I wanted to spread them out. So I thought this was the best way to put two in the bottom corner and one in the middle. So it kind of makes a triangle. And then I did the same thing with these three. They all have yellow in them. So I got two yellows down here, another triangle. And then I just uh, positioned everything else. And I also added some ribbon. This is our balmy blue ribbon. I went around the whole thing twice. So two strips and the ends of my strips are under the center square. So you can't see that it covers the ends. Now another thing. Oh, and I want to tell you who did the, my squares. We've got Linda Carver, Vicki Meisner, Tony Shaw, Gloria Folsom. This one was mine. Karen Rakowski. Janice Walsh, Debbie Vaccaro, and Angie Cosme. And then I had three girls that were not part of my group, but they sent me their squares anyway. And what I did is I made cards with it. If you guys don't want to, to create a sampler, you can make cards with your, with your squares. So these were my three extra squares that came in the mail, not from my group. And let's see, this one was Jennifer Walsh. She actually sent me two. These are both Jennifer, Jennifer Walsh, and then Kelly Kraus. And I just kind of did um, the same layout where I added designer paper on one side and cardstock. Very simple. And then I added the same sentiment to all three cards. So if you, um, like I said, if you don't want to do a sampler, you can always do cards with your squares. 
So that's my sampler and I hope you guys will keep adding uh, pictures of the ones you got because we had four groups. So we have a lot of squares between the four groups and I know everyone's going to arrange their samplers different. So it's nice to see what everybody does with their squares. Thanks to everyone that joined in. It was a lot of fun and we'll do another one probably in a few months from now. Have a good night again. See you next week.